guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I am taking a bit of a break from YouTube, but I needed to hop on here and just kind of give you some updates as to what's been happening in our backyard. I did do a little indoor update video recently, so go ahead and check that out. I will link that up above. But in today's video, I'm just gonna be talking about some of like the cool little changes that we've made around our backyard because I think, in my opinion, they're worth documenting and sharing. So the first you can see is we have our grass growing finally in our backyard. It has been weeks and weeks and weeks of waiting for the grass to finally, you know, root and spring up. We planted zoysia grass and I think we planted it like a few weeks too early because it was really rainy. We got like a lot of extra storms around here and it really needs like warm soil to, you know, germinate or whatever and then sprout. So finally things started warming up and thankfully a lot of the seeds like weren't washed down our drains with all of the rain. There are definitely some patches where it's like really thick grass and then really scattered grass coming through. But we're hoping that in the weeks to come, it'll be nice and full and match some of like the really thicker portions of our lawn. After we kind of have like all of the grass like sprouting and it's fairly full, I'm anticipating that we'll then do like a mixture of sand and soil to kind of level it out just to make it nice and smooth and not so bumpy. Like I said, the rain kind of ruined some of our plans, ruined some of our leveling work. So we will have to, you know, kind of level out the yard eventually. But right now we are just happy that this is more green than it brown as seen in previous videos. As far as our chickens go, Juan yesterday added some cameras in, or at least I think one camera. I think the other one, we're having some technical difficulties. So we have just one right now that's working that shows us our nesting box. So it's really cool when we see like a chicken go in there, we can watch the chicken lay the egg and leave, or we can see, oh, you know, there's three eggs in there. We gotta go get there, you know, go pick them up or something like that. So it's kind of been fun to, have that on our like Alexa screen in the kitchen so that we can know, you know, is it, do we even need to go out there and check for eggs? We have kind of cleaned up this back slope. The chickens, when we do let them free range, they kick the mulch everywhere. It ends up all on our sidewalk. So right now the chickens are gonna be kind of just in their coop and in the chicken run. And I don't think we're gonna let them out too much. I do want to eventually get like fruit trees and stuff, which we still haven't gotten on the slope. And once that happens, you know, we hopefully the ground cover will be a little bit more thick and it, it won't be as easy for them to kick the mulch like everywhere. So, you know, we got to figure that out. On this side, I'm planning on planting more pumpkin seeds. And this is about the time that I would do that. So I just need to find my seeds. I misplaced them. I think they're out here somewhere. So I need to go ahead and plant those seeds and hopefully we will have some more pumpkins. If you guys have been following me for a while, you saw that I had one pumpkin grow last year and I finally harvested it and then finally baked it and made pumpkin bread with it. So it's been really cool to like see it from seed to table. So that has been really fun. Some of our other plants that provide us nutrients, I have my onion plants and because I planted those from seeds, this is year two, like in their second year of growth and that's when they start to flower. So I will be getting some more seeds from those onions and I might harvest an onion whenever Juan's barbecuing and he asked me for an onion and I don't have one, we might actually just like rip one out and, and use it. So I've never done that, so that'll be fun, but I'm excited that those are growing. They do kind of look a little bit brown on the tips. I don't use them for green onions very often, but you know, they're there when I need them. Our trees also have gotten their green leaves back. So, we, you know, they haven't, they didn't die over the course of the winter. So that's, you know, comforting to know that our trees are still doing well. Our avocado tree is growing. It has some new growth up top. So those are all doing well. And then the last couple of things that have been added to our backyard are some solar lights. Juan recently purchased some solar lights that we've put along our side backyard. 
and Jack has already probably broken at least three or four of them. He, you know, it's, it's a struggle with Jack because I want to be able just to be like, be free in the backyard. But most of the time I'm like, no, don't touch that. No, don't do, don't put that in your mouth. There was one time he was back there by that tree and I was like where I am now. And I saw him reach down, grab a whole handful of like manure, dirt, rock combo. And he just looks at me and goes, and like, I then I'm like running over there to scrape it all out of his mouth. And I hear him crunching on like the little rocks and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I can't wait for the stage where I don't have to worry about him putting things in his mouth anymore. So he, you know, obviously goes then into the side yard and rips out our solar lights. So we probably could have waited, but you know, they, I think that they look nice along our walkway in the evening when they turn on. And then the last product that we've added has actually, you can't see it because I've adjusted the light on the camera, but there's lights on this fence that we share with our neighbor. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip here of when we installed them. I'd like to thank FabStyle for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us this 12 pack of waterproof LED solar fence lights. The lights and hardware came packaged very nicely. These lights are perfect for stairs, decks, patios, gardens, swimming pools, or in our case, backyard fences. Each light is about 4 inches by 1.8 inches by 2 inches. The lights have 10 modes, warm white, which is the setting that we chose, and nine RGB modes, allowing you to choose between RGB fade, RGB flash, white, red, green, scion, yellow, blue, or purple. The lights have a memory function, so they will essentially remember the last setting that you chose. They also have a removable lampshade, so you can choose between a solid light or a pattern. The lights can withstand rain, wind, or snow, and have a four to five hour solar charging time. When fully charged, the deck lights can last 15 to 20 hours, providing light all night long. Juan installed our lights by first attaching the screw plate to our fence. Then he removed the lampshade, turned on the light, and pushed the button until he got the color that we wanted. Then he reattached the lampshade, which you could leave off, and slid the light back onto the screw plate. There were 13 posts we could have attached the lights to, but we only had 12 lights. So we left the last post on our wall empty since we have a motion sensing light on our house nearby. We are very pleased with how well these lights illuminate our wall and sloped garden area, especially since we have a fairly bright street light nearby. If our kids weren't so little, I would consider putting more of these on our retaining wall lining our walkway, but I have a feeling that Jack would break them, so that plan will just have to wait. If this product seems like something you would be interested in getting, I will put the Amazon link down below in the description box. Again, I'd like to thank FabStyle for sponsoring this portion of today's video and lighting up our backyard. But that wraps up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little update and thank you again for being patient with me as I take this little break from YouTube. I have been feeling the urge to start filming again, but I also know that my health is important. I have been, you know, I lost a little bit of weight and then I'm kind of hovering right now. So I'm hoping to lose some more and continue on this downward, downward trend. And um, hopefully, you know, I'll be able to jump back on here and be more energetic and just feel like a more positive version of myself. So thank you for your understanding. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new. We're gonna have more things coming up. I posted a picture of how I painted Aubrey's room. So I did film that process. It's just a matter of getting to edit all of this stuff. Um, that's what usually takes me the longest amount of time. So anyways, that, that will come up eventually and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, 
That may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.